Hi and welcome to Code Tutorials. Today we'll be talking about creating animated text effects using the animated text widget from our key add-ons for Elementor plugin. We are looking at a page with some examples of the widget's effects right now. This widget includes a selection of animation effects you can apply to your text and we'll be exploring how that works shortly. This widget is perfect for anyone who wants to give their site a little vivacity or an interesting flair. So let's see how the animated text widget from the key add-ons for Elementor plugin is used. Head over to the back end and in the Elementor sidebar search for animated text. There it is. Drag the widget over to the right. And here we are. This widget contains some default content which we can customize by going to the general options and replacing the text in the title field. I'll just put in the same content that we have in one of the examples on the landing page. Alright. So once you've added your content, we can open the Appear Animation set of options. This is where we can customize how the animation will appear. So to start with, we can choose if we want to split the title. We can do so by word, so the words will appear one by one. Or we can split the title by letter and set our content to appear one letter after another. Then we have the Appear Animation option. It lets us choose if the title will appear from the bottom, from the top, or from the left, or from the right. Finally, it can fade in. I'll set mine to appear from the top. Then we have the Appear Delay. We can use this to delay the appearance of the animation, so when our visitors are scrolling, this gives them time to reach the section with the animation and see it happen. The settings we have here are random, which give you an appear delay of anything from 10 to 400 milliseconds. Since it's random, each time you set it, it could be different. And the other option is set milliseconds. This allows us to set a custom amount of time for the delay, such as 500 milliseconds. And now there's a greater delay before my title appears. And if I change that to 200 milliseconds, the title appears twice as fast. Now, our last set of options in the content tab is this, the developer tools. There's just one option here, and if we switch its setting to yes, it will display the widget in the form of a standard WordPress shortcode. That way we can easily copy it for use elsewhere on our site. Alright, now we can move on to the Style tab and see what we have in there. The first thing we see here is the alignment. We can keep our title on the left, in the center or on the right. I'll leave mine in the center. Then we can pick the title tag. It can be anything from H1 to H6 or the P tag. I'll use H3, it looks quite neat. Then we can change the title color. You can use this slider or add a hex code below. After this, we have the title typography options. In here, we can pick the font family for our title. You can scroll through this list or search for the font if you know its name. Then the size option lets us adjust the font size, like so. And with the weight option, we can turn our title, for example, bold, or use one of these number values to fine tune its weight. OK. Then we have the text transform, which we can use to make our title uppercase lowercase, capitalized, or normal, which is the same as our default. And under style we can make our title normal, which is the same as default, or turn it italic or oblique. I'll put mine back to default. Following that, the decoration lets us add an underline, an overline, a line through, or we can use none of these, which is our default setting. Then the line height option. If I move this, it creates more space around the text, but as my title only has one line, it's difficult to show. Finally, we have the letter spacing option. By increasing the value here, you can increase the space between your letters. Alright, that's it for the typography options. The last thing we have in the style tab is the title padding. If I start to increase the values here, we can see that the space around the text expands. If you don't want to have equal padding on all sides, you can delink the fields and set differing values for each side. And that's it! Our animated text widget is done, and I'll just save it and refresh the page so we can see how it looks. And there it is!
everything works just the way I wanted it to. I hope taking this time to cover the options for this widget has helped you to see how easy making animated text effects can be with the key add-ons for Elementor plugin and its animated text widget. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and be the first to learn about new theme guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching.